Okay, next thing we gotta do is we're gonna put our cone tips in, and they're in yellow. And the cone tips go right there. And what we have to do is we have to make sure that when we close down on our articulator, at that point, that that, that yellow goes right between the embrasures of number, uh, the, the lower uh, second premolar and the lower first uh, molar on the right side. So what we do is we go into what we call a lateral excursion to see if that point goes through there. And it's not quite right just yet, so I have to fix it a little bit more. I'm going to try it again. See, it's right there in the middle, so we know it's okay, okay? So we're going to leave that like it is. Now we've got to put one on the lingual. The lingual is this side. This is uh, the lingual cusp is a supporting cusp. And you will learn that when you get into the waxing class, but supporting cusp is what, where all the, the, the dots and stuff will come from, which I'll show you later on in just a little bit. Now we've got to look down at this from the mesial and distal and make sure these cusps aren't too high. And they should be the same height as this cusp and this cusp. So I think we've got it too long right here, so I'm going to cut this down. Now I'm looking at it down to these three cusps and I'm looking at it with one eye to make sure that this is not too high. What I mean by high, I'm making it too long. And the same with the lingual. The lingual I think we can make a little longer. I'm going to uh, cut this down just a little bit because I'm going to put what we call cusp ridges on. You see what I said? It gets kind of messy, uh, so I'm going to use the toothbrush and clean it off. Now I'm going to check again to see if my cusps are the same, the right height, and I think they are. So I'm going to go ahead now and put what we call cusp bridges in.